Yo, what's good? What's good? Back with a new YouTube video, man. And this is one that I had to react to. I, I started watching it, as you can see. And man, the thumbnail is what got me. The thumbnail is what caught me, man. Fuck you, pay me. I said, wow. Now, mind you, you see that I haven't been posting 2K content lately, man. Um, Like I told y'all in the previous video. I'm not feeling it anymore. To know that we got guys out here trying to help you and tell you what's going on with 2K. When it comes to the back end of the fucking. To know that the VC prices to play this game, bro. You got to You're going to have to have money. Let's just get to that. You're going to have to. You're going to. Have to have money. If you don't got money in 2K23, you're done for. This game is so... The, the way the game is constructed right now, the game is so vital to money. My team, you're going to need money. My career, you can go in there and play and have your fun. You can have your fun in my career. But as soon as you try to step outside those boundaries of my career... And, and go out there and play with your bill and do all these things, you're going to have to have money. When it comes to the My Player Online feature, and that's why I be like, you dudes thinking that 2K care about you staying in my career. 2K care about you playing now, guys. Why would they care about that when they know their bread and butter coming from the online features of the game? My team, um, um, the, 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 the My Player, the Builder. Bro. Look at all these dudes going around talking about this replicable bill. Man, everybody making these new bills. They making bills on top of bill. You done made you a bill. Now you're going to make another bill. Now you find that's another replicable. Bro, in order for them to know what those bills are like, you know you're going to have to put money on them, right? You know you're going to have to put money on them, right? So you got all this, bro. It's so amazing at how... YouTubers get sucked into doing the bidding of 2K without even knowing they're, they're a part of the game. They don't even have a clue what they're doing. Just like, and I and I and I need to do a reaction video on that too. Brutusim posted a video of all these YouTubers showing you the badge glitch. They showed you a glitch that 2K reverted. Thank God. Finally, they did something for us glitches. Amazing. I gotta give them a Gotta give my hand clap for that. But the YouTubers that told you the glitch, right? They made a lot of money off of these videos. You know, they videos went viral. But then you go make, you spend your hard-earned money to make this glitch bill. And some of y'all made multiple. And then you look and 2K reverted it. So you keep falling in line with these YouTubers that gonna fuck you over in the long run. They, you you make all these bills, not understanding that you constantly gonna be throwing out money in order for the even get the bill to be decent. We're gonna watch this all city video, and man, wow, he started talking about this shit. And I was like, I just can't watch this. I need for my audience to see this as well because that's what we have to do. We have to share this information. We have to get stuff like this around to everybody so you can start voicing your opinion on this fucking money game this money grab video game that we we're playing 2k did an amazing job this year i will give them that but there are still some things that are fucked up about this game and i know y'all ain't ready to hear it because i know you in your honeymoon stage you don't want to hear what's wrong with the game that have been the best game thus far yes but there are still some things that are highly questionable about 2K23, and this is one of them. This is a major one. Let's get straight into the video. And the reason I started like this because I wanted y'all to see the thumbnail. The thumbnail said, "Pay to play, pay to win. Fuck you, pay me." Wow, what a thumbnail. Let's get into this video. All right, y'all, we gotta talk about it. It's some real serious, but nobody seems to want to talk about it. 2K23 is now looking like one of the most expensive video games that you guys will ever play. Thanks. We're gonna get right into it. Break. I love the idea of role playing when it comes to role play 
of 2K. But you got to understand, the way that 2K sets it up, role players make you spend much more money than you would ever spend because you got to understand, you have different bills for different things. You have different friends that play different ways. So now you got to have a bill to play with this friend. You got to have a bill to do this job, a bill to do that job. It's going to be a lot of money being spent all year on top of this replicable bills, the rebirth system. You got to spend money to get a bill to 90. To 90. Then you ain't listen at. You see how you just threw away money? But most of, most of us, most of us, we make a bill, right? We get them to 90, then we're going to go to do the rebirth. We're probably not even going to play with the other bill anymore. Or we made a mistake on them. That's extra money. That's why I'm saying, bro, like, y'all don't understand, like, I really, I really want to fight this battle. But it's like, man, we ain't trying to get y'all to see the fuckery of it. You guys are so blinded by the bullshit that keep coming out of these YouTuber mouth that you can't even see what's going on. They are in the same fucking trap that you're in. But guess what? They can make the money back from the video. Can you make the money back? Hmm. Down all the details. Drop a like, drop a sub if you can. Now I created this three level shot creator build that you guys see behind me, a 6'1", 188 pounds with a 6'10 wingspan. It's fired from the homie badge plug. And two questions came to mind. How much am I gonna have to pay to get this build to max level? And the other question was, is it possible for me to play the game and get enough VC to max out this build? And after taking a deeper look into VC payouts versus the idea of purchasing VC, this is some of the things that we found out. I went into my attributes and I started doing the math, increasing each attribute and jotting down the cost to increase this attribute to max level. So this nigga actually did his fucking homework. He didn't just jump out here and say this shit. And that's what bothers me, bro. You have people that be right about 2K. Anonymous 2K TV was right about everything he said about 22. The people refused to believe it but then at the end of 2k22 the 2k put the shit out in an article of everything that i said was going on now everybody still looking the other way so how do how do you help the people when they don't even want to look at the fucking idea that something is going on something is wrong Oh, man, y'all find anything to complain about. Bro, do you know how much it truly costs to make a bill? Do you know how hard it is for some people to get that money? So, yes, the builder is so fucking crazy to, 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 to figure out. Some of us can figure it out, but some of y'all, man, you got to understand, bro. If you playing with randoms all day, you know... You're going to have to have a bill for just those objectives. Then when you play with your friends, you're going to have to have a bill for that. It's no such thing as, you know, which I agree. I agree, but bring the prices down. I agree there need to be a role in the video game. You should not be able to make a bill that doing every fucking thing. I agree with that. But, bro, you cannot be telling me this while having a bill costing more than $100 to max out. Come on, dog. You guys see, I increased my driving layup and I would have to pay 32,346 VC in order to max out my driving layup. And I did this for every single attribute in every category. And these are the figures that I came wow. up with. In order to max this build out. Brody did the homework. Brody did his homework. And to, to, to max out his finishing, it would cost 72,815 VC. To max out shooting 140,771. Playmaking 127,348. Defense 60,000. Physical 70,000. These are the PC. So he get a total of 473,428. Wow. 
I just bought VC for a hundred dollars. I think I got four fifty, and that's the most you can buy that's on the game. So I bought a player for four hundred and fifty thousand, and I still don't get them to ninety nine. Wow. Do y'all not understand how crazy that is? You buy a fucking game and see, this is what you y'all need to go watch this TV show called Social Dilemma, Social Dilemma on Netflix. How they market different options of video game or things in life, how they give you a regular version, a, a, a special edition version, um, this version, that version. How many versions of 2K are there? At different prices. They sit here and study us. That's why I keep telling y'all there is um a, a boat, a goat boat in the in a my city. It's all marketing. All marketing that these people are professionally doing. These are not people that sitting down in cargo shorts making a game and coming up. Should we have two two versions of 2K? Should we have this copy, that copy, this copy? Should we have a boat in a city? Should Bro, it's business. And they run it, bro. Video games are not what they used to be, man. And it, it's, it's slowly taking my... Like, I'm slowly starting to move away from this. It's not what it used to be, man. Enjoying yourself, having fun, playing the game. Now it's all about how much they can get out of you. They get your time. They get your attention. And on top of that, they want every single dollar you have to offer. Because you just can't. You think you can come out there to the park? You know how long it's going to take you to come out there to the park and battle? You know how long it's going to take you to program to battle my team if you ain't putting on money? You know how long it's going to take to battle? You're going to take a lot of ass whooping. All because you didn't spend that money. It's just like the mobile games on our phone. If we spend that money, we can get some better options, some better cars, some better things, some equipment to on our phone for games. But if we don't spend that money, you you know, hey, don't participate too long. I would have to pay out NVC four hundred and seventy three thousand four hundred and twenty eight VC, and right off rip, I think move, a lot of way, you guys so are noticing that that's cost more than a hundred dollars exactly. worth of VC, as the hundred dollar package gets you four hundred and fifty thousand VC. Look at that, that means that if you guys spend an additional hundred dollars, you cannot even max out your bill. So as I was saying, and I know I got off subject, but you buy the game for seventy dollars. Or one hundred dollars, or the one fifty, or the two hundred version. Four versions. They throw out four versions, four different prices. It's not four versions. That's the kicker. They threw. They throw out four different copies of two Ks. At a different price range, but the game is exactly the same. Ah. Watch this show on Netflix, Social Dilemma. And just understand how these people play with us. How these people take advantage of us. Four 2Ks at different price ranges, but they the same game. 2K told y'all they wasn't able to make PS4 um, 2K22. They said the things that we're doing on on um 2022 next gen we can't do on 22 current gen ps4 and ps5 xbox and xbox one all that shit they lied they came right back this year and get what gave them damn near everything except the, the my city you got the same things you got the 1v1 you got you got um you got the same builder they said you couldn't get the builder yet somehow this year y'all have the builder you you see what i'm saying but y'all forget about these things. You forget about the shit that 2K say, and that's why they delete their articles. That's why they delete their vids, because they don't want you to come back and match their words. Because you got people like me, brother right here, that are going to say, hey, bro, y'all remember when 2K said this? You're going to have these other puppets that said, 
Bruh, y'all, y'all be wild about the wrong thing, the old shit. It ain't old shit. It's a scam. Why are they deleting their information that they put out there to the public or what they said would be, but it don't be? 2K22 said the mob builder for the PS5 cannot work on the PS4, and yet y'all have it today on the 2K23. Come on, bruh. Better get hip to this shit. It's a whole lot of fuckery going on there too, okay? As you guys will still need another 23,428 VC in order to max out this particular bill. Now, looking at this chart that I personally created, we want to go through these attribute points so you guys could get a better understanding of why I was so frustrated when looking at these numbers. In each of the categories, from top to bottom, finishing costing about 72,000 VC. Your shooting will cost you guys 141,000 VC. My playmaking alone will cost me 127,000 VC, my defense at 60,000 VC, and my physicals. My f this is unbelievable. If you're not understanding, each one of these costs real money. In order to get this thing right here, VC, you got to spend real money. Do you know how long it's going to take for you to earn this in a video game? Do you know how long it's going to take? It's going to take a long fucking time, bro. If you just out there playing the game and talking about 2K going to bless you with some VC, bless you where? I seen this nigga iPod King Carter talking about, oh, man, if you play the entire of my career, you get 100000 What is a fucking 100000 going to do when your build is 473000 Physicals will cost me 70,000 VC. And one of the first things that I noticed when looking at these numbers outside of my main gaming characteristics, like my strengths in shooting and playmaking, there's still three other categories which are my weaker categories. Those will cost me 1999. About 75,000 mm. VC is what you yep. get for 1999. And I would only be able to upgrade some of my weaker attributes. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to just target my strengths. If I purchased the $49.99 package at 200,000 VC, I wouldn't even be able to max out my shooting and playmaking, as those two numbers far exceed the 200,000 wow. VC you get for $49.99. And wow. let's take a look at the shooting category, upgrading my three-pointer at an 89. We're talking about getting your three-point shot to an 89 will cost you 70,000 VC. That one attribute alone could cost you guys $20 to upgrade. 1999, getting you the 75,000 VC package. And if you guys take a close look at the particular attributes in each of the categories there is only one gameplay attribute outside of my physicals we're talking about finishing shooting playmaking and defensive attributes i only have one attribute that goes above a 90 on this player and that's my wow. ball handle attribute ironically my ball handle attribute goes to a 95 and will only cost me 53,000 to max out to 95 but to get my three point attribute to an 80 it'll cost me 70,000 VC. Now ask yourself for a second, why do you think that may be? Ask yourself, what is the one attribute that most players attempt to add to their player builds? That would be the three-point shot. We all want to shoot the basketball. We all want to shoot the basketball. It's amazing, bro. At how you can do your homework, man. And we, yo, shout out to all city, man. Y'all, please go sub up and, and, bro, he always coming with some gym. Bro, it's amazing. It's amazing, dog. How you can do all this and niggas will still find a reason to say, well, bro, I mean, it's on you if you want to play the game. You stupid motherfuckers. You stupid. Why is niggas trying to help you and show you things to where you can buck back against the system and get them to change some things? But no, you dumbass niggas just fall right along. 
Man, hey, I got the money for it. It ain't about having the money for it, idiot. Brad Ford got the money to not be scamming from Mississippi, but he's still doing it. Rich people, they got money to do all sorts of things, yet they still do scamming shit, conniving shit. But it's the poor people that don't really got shit, but on the internet pretending like they got shit. Oh man, it ain't no big deal to me. I got the money. Shut your broke, poor mindset ass up. If you got this mindset, you need to start trying to change it. If there is something that can be fixed within the system and you can get enough people to see it, you don't have to be that guy to say, oh, I got the money for it. No. You being sucked dry because they know it's a real, it's a real mental issue right there. You assuming that you big balling and you're doing amazing thing when you know, bro, deep, deep, deep down inside, you could be using that money for something else. But instead, in order to play the game that you like, that we love, you got to fucking damn near be sucked dry. Leech. These niggas sucking us dry. Just to play a fucking game. Jai attribute, right? I want to add something else that I noticed as well. Whenever you go over 90, the attribute cost just completely skyrockets. You guys will probably spend more from 90 to 99 than it'll cost your player to get that attribute up to 90. So for instance, my three point attribute cost me 70,000 to get mm. it up to 89. From 90 to 99, it'll be well over 70,000. And this is not a bash on 2K. If you guys want to bash 2K, I totally understand if you're frustrated with the just insane VC course, I get it. But I'm just speaking and exposing facts about my personal experience on 2K. And see, on my end, it's a bash, you know? And we respect what all city is saying because he bringing the information. And man, like I said, I've been live streaming on Twitch. You know, I've been saying it, but I haven't made a video. I've been talking about it on Twitch. It's fucking insane, bro. It's insane. If you fuck up on your bill, you got to make a new one. And you can fuck up real easy this year. It's so easy to fuck up this year. Because for some reason, you got niggas out here with 6 9 bills moving faster than guards. For some reason, dribbling is damn near... You, well, I don't know. In one mode, you moving fast. Before you go to the other mode, you moving slow as fuck. The game works one minute, the game don't work the next minute. It's so much going on that, bro, it's like, man, it's wild, bro. Okay, and I know a lot of you guys may not have noticed this for NBA 2K23. Can we all agree that badges make the game? If you guys don't have badges, then you're not going to play nearly as good at the game. Now, we just went over the course per attributes, right? And if we can all agree that you really can't compete in this game if you don't have badges. Let's go into these badges and see if we can equip, like, say, a shooting badge to help me shoot better while I acquire these attributes or help me get to potential particular attributes. Maybe badges could help me shoot better if I equip it at a higher level. Will I be able to do that? Let's go into, let's say, the guard up badge. Let's see if we could even equip this badge. Can I equip it on silver? No, I can't equip it on silver because it says my mid-range shot will have to be a 69 mm -hmm. or my three-point shot get that will money, have to my be boy. a 73. Better get that paper play, boy. The guard up badge. So 69 mid-range, 73 three-point shot. Let's see how Price. much that'll cost us. So in order for me to equip that guard up badge, I need a 69 mid range, so let's increase that to 69, and let's increase that three point shot to a 73 and see how much it costs us. <laughs> You're looking to spend 22,000 VC just to equip the Garda badge wow. on silver. Is 2K pretty much leaving us no choice to compete on NBA <laughs> 2K23? Do you guys think 2K is being extra aggressive in their approach to mm. getting you guys? to spend money on VC. From my experience, 2K used to be a game where you can get on, play offline if you wanted, grind out offline, and still have fun without having to dig into your pockets. Has all of this changed? And let's consider the idea that you wanna grind offline. How long would it take you to grind this player out online? Let's consider for a second that you get a thousand VC per my career game. Oh my. Just to increase your three point attribute alone, it'll cost you 70,000 just to get that to an 80. Ooh. 
nine, that'll equal about, you know, let's say a thousand VC per game. That'll equal about 70 oh, games my goodness. on my career. Just Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. Bro, y'all better start acting like you understand this shit. Things like this, the community should come together and say, come on, dog. The prices are too high. Y'all do know it's possible, right? They got other games out here that try this shit. The community get together and make them change the prices on some of this VC. Or make them take out the virtual currency altogether. Go do your research. Everybody, every community don't allow this. But for some reason, see, the 2K community is surrounded by the poor mindset. The poor man mindset is overwhelmingly all throughout 2k that's why you see people constantly comparing what they doing in real life money wise yo what you doing on a video game this how much i make in real life when these niggas ain't living in no better condition you can look at the camera and see that these niggas ain't doing no better but everybody gets on this game to portray a lifestyle that they don't live the poor man mindset so they act like they got all this money they sit here and, and you know, body things, and then on the back, and they cut the stream off, or they cut the camera off, and then now they missing out. Man, damn, I bought that bill. I bought that new bill. I fucked up on this bill. Nobody want to be wasting their money. Nobody want to be just constantly giving out money. To play a fucking game. Man. I'm going to stop it right here because we already got pretty long on it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Shout out to All City for even making this video. Man, these are some of the people you can get that information from, bro. Uh, All City is one of a brutal sim, man. They always dishing it out, man. They always giving it back. You know, uh, Asian used to do this amazing thing, man. Swante, he do it too, man. So you got to start checking these dudes out, man. We got to band together when it comes to situations like this. We can't keep taking this shit laying down. That's why I said I'm slowly, man. You see, I don't play 2K like that no more. I still play it from time to time, but you know, man, like I'm not all in on it like I was. Because I understand, like, this shit is all a setup. It's a setup for your time, and it's a setup for your money. Come on, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Hashtag assist game. See y'all on the next one. Bellow on the bellow on the